Hi there, and welcome to this video on the dentistry interview, focusing on the topic of the NHS traffic light system. I'm Alice from Dentist Mind, where we go through the important topics of the dentistry interviews. Whichever university you're applying for, MMI or panel, we've got you covered. If you're new here, be sure to click that subscribe button. Whilst you're watching, please leave any comments below if you're unsure about anything. We've got helpful timestamps below for each part of the video to help guide you. The following video is a free sample of our full interview course, which you can buy by clicking on the link below in the description. So let's get started. Hello and welcome to lesson four of NHS Dentistry. This time we're going to have a look at the traffic light system and explain this in terms of a new contract being proposed for NHS Dentistry. So the traffic light system is something which was introduced in 2011 as 70 dental practices piloted this new method of contract set out by the NHS. The aim of the traffic light system is to have a more preventative approach instead of a treatment based one like the units of dental activity. So in a way it's allowing patients to take care of their dental issues themselves, hopefully allowing their good oral hygiene to be improved and therefore prevent treatment being necessary, but also allowing problems they already have to sort themselves out rather than a dentist getting involved and drilling away teeth when these could potentially be saved. So about this traffic light system, what happens is a dentist will see a patient and give them assessment based on their oral health and their oral health history as well when they arrive for their appointment. This will then be given a rating of red, amber or green depending on what level of oral hygiene the patient has. The results will be discussed with the patient um, and take into account different factors as well. So risks such as the risk of them developing caries, um, the risk of gum disease or the risk of things such as oral cancer, which can be increased, for example, if you're a smoker. Um, so this is something to consider because if you can minimise risk factors, then you can minimise the risk of these diseases happening. The red, amber, green system will be reviewed regularly. So a patient can change. They might be given red initially, but as their oral hygiene care improves, they could be moved up to being a green, for example. So this breaks down what each different colour means. If you get given a red, it means your oral hygiene needs attention. So you need treatment and you also need to take care of your oral hygiene a lot better. And the dentist will give you advice on how to do this. If you get given a yellow, this means you could benefit from some treatment um, and you should speak to the dentist to find out more about how you could do better to look after your teeth and what kind of things they can offer you as well. And if you get given green, this means your oral hygiene is great and you just need to maintain this and therefore your teeth should stay in really good health. So a question that you might get asked in one of your interviews will be what are your thoughts on the proposed traffic light system? So it's really important to have an answer where you consider what the benefits and drawbacks of this are in comparison to the system currently available. So these are some comments which have been given in response to the new traffic light system. This person has said it's a better for patient care because it's a lot more emphasis on prevention, which is really important as a massive drive right now to have prevention rather than treatment. So it's a lot better that the patient never gets the problem in the first place than it is for a dentist to start getting in there with drills and fixing their teeth if they can actually maintain the healthy teeth from the start. So this person is saying that the staff found it quite tricky to adjust with a new system, but obviously this is going to take time. When a new system is introduced, it's going to take a while for everyone to move from the old system to the new one and start to understand how things are done differently. So this is something to be expected when a new system is brought into play. This person is saying that there's quite a feeling that people are getting used to it and they're getting a lot slicker at carrying out the assessments in the way that they want them to be carried out as opposed to how it used to be done. So again, this is something that will come with time and as people adjust to the new system, it will just get slicker and a lot cleaner and everything will start running more smoothly. This comment is talking about the fact that it's a lot longer term than just treatments are now. So for example, you get given an amber then it's a long-term plan to try and improve your oral hygiene and give you advice which you will use for the rest of your life. It's not just you're going to have a filling now and this will sort your problem now. It's more of a long-term thing because obviously you're brushing your teeth twice a day and if a patient knows how to do this properly, it's something they can implement throughout their life as opposed to that one-time treatment when they just go to the dentist for a filling. One of the problems with this approach is that people are saying in practices where they don't have a designated hygienist or therapist, it's going to be slower because obviously a dentist is required to carry out other treatments still um, and things such as maintaining oral hygiene or giving oral hygiene advice 
can be done by hygienists and therapists. So for practices with these, it's really good because the patients could just be referred onto the hygienist for the oral hygiene advice. Whereas in practices where they don't have a designated oral hygienist, it's going to take a little bit longer because the dentist will have to dedicate a little bit more time to explain this to the patient at each individual appointment. So that was lesson four and lesson four is now complete. This is something that's really important to show your interviewer that you're keyed up on what's happening currently and that you're following current developments in dentistry. So if they do ask this question and you can talk about the traffic light system, that's going to be really good and it's showing your interviewer you know what you're talking about. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe by clicking below and please leave a comment. Click here to continue watching our interview series and to unlock full access to 70 tutorials covering core interview topics, MMI mocks, top tips and more, click on the link in the description below.